All right, let's look at uh, this bronze problem from the February 2020 Yusuko contest. Uh, so what's going on here? So, Farmer John, Cousin Ben is a mad scientist. Sure, Farmer John ordered a thousand cows consisting of Holsteins and Guernseys, which we're going to represent a string of N characters, H or G. Uh, however, they came out wrong. We didn't get what we wanted. Uh, so we are not going to rearrange the cows for some reason. You're going to use science. Wonderful. Mad science always, always good stuff. So yes, and indeed we got some mad science. So uh, this takes some range of the cows, some substring, and toggles them. So the H's become G's and the G's become H's. We want to know how many times we need to do this to transform B into A. So that's the question. Um, and let me just run through a quick example. So suppose that we wanted HGH, but we got GGH. Then we would need to apply the machine one time to transform you know, this G into this H. Or maybe we got GHH, then we could apply the machine again one time to transfer these two, or put these two to HG. But if we got uh, GGG, then we would need to apply the machine twice. Right? And this, we could either just apply it once to the first, you know, just to this cow and then just to this cow, or we could apply it to all of these cows, but then we need to flip the model one again. Um, okay, so that's just to help you understand the problem. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the problem. Um, so how are we going to do it? Uh, so this is going to... Right, so I, th I don't know. How, how might you think about this problem? Uh, so the way I'm thinking about this problem is that imagine that you're sort of going through the string from left to right. Uh, and whenever there's a mismatch, you're going to need to apply the machine. Um, so, uh, and then the question is, like, how many cows should you apply the machine to? And the answer is that you should keep going as long as they keep mismatching. But as soon as there's a mismatch, you should stop. Because if you keep going, then you're just going to need to apply the machine again to fix that problem. Uh, and that, I don't know, that doesn't help you, right? Any, any cows further on that you flipped, you could have just uh, flipped with a second move. And you're going to have to do a second move anyway. And it's going to be more annoying to do a second move uh, you know, further to the left. So what do I mean by that? So let's just say we have a bunch of H's and you know we match and then there's some mismatch and then for a while there's a mismatch and then there's a match again. So I'm claiming that we should always, we should just apply the machine to this range. But obviously we don't want to apply the machine anywhere here and you know here there could be you know, whatever going on uh, to the left of it. But, you know, maybe you might think, well, okay, why don't we just, you know, apply the machine to a slightly larger range? Sure, we'll mess up this guy, but, you know, we'll fix some other stuff uh, past him. And let's say it was like this, right? So we, 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 you know, we mess up one guy, but we fixed three guys. That's so great. Uh, but the problem with that is that you're going to need to apply the machine again to fix this guy if you do that. Um, and... You know, if you're going to apply the machine a second time, well, then you could have just applied it a second time, you know, to fix this stuff. So there's no benefit um, to ever messing up a cow, right? You just uh, only want to fix the cows that start out mismatched. And so the question is just to count how many ranges of mismatches there are, uh, which we can just do by going through the string. Um, right, so whenever, just keep track of whether or not uh, we're currently sort of in a mismatch, and whenever we find a new mismatch, then we increment the answer by one. Um, so let's let's give that a shot. So the first thing we do is we read n, uh, then we have our strings a and b, and then we are going to go through those strings. So let's keep track of our answer. Um, and this is whether or not we are currently in a mismatch. So 
with AI doesn't equal BI. Um, then uh, sorry, if this one is new. So if there's a mismatch and it's the start of a mismatch, then write down that we're actually in a mismatch and uh, increment, you know, this is a new mismatch, which she said is what was gonna count. Uh, and if we're, if we're already in a mismatch, then there's really nothing to do here, right? We don't, we've already you know, noted that we're in a mismatch and we don't count this towards the answer because we can just use uh, this run of the, you know, the, the current like machine one that we're on, we can just extend it. But if there's not a mismatch, uh, then we can just say mismatch equals false. Um, it doesn't matter if mismatch is already false, right? This just does nothing in that case, that's fine. And then we can just print the answer. Um, so let me do some bookkeeping. Uh, let's see, if we need IO stream, we need string. I'm using namespace std, which like otherwise I'd have to type string, so it's nicer to do that. And I have this abbreviation ll for long long, this is before the picture that I like to use. Uh, and also um, in Musico we need to fv open files because we use um, you know, dot in and dot out files instead of standard and standard open. So I believe this one is called breed flip. Yeah, that's what I named the file. So readflip.in for reading, replace the standard in, readflip.out for writing, replace the standard out. And that should be it, right? It's just a single pass through the strings. Um, and you just count the times when they when a mismatch starts. So it's a greedy algorithm. Um, so let's give that a try. Copy the sample case to zero, zero. So let me put it in. Uh, put that in. So I got two. And does that look right to me? Well, you need to flip this guy, and you need to flip these guys, and everything else is fine. So yeah, it looks like two is the right answer. Um. So yeah, that's this problem. It um. The problem statement is kind of complicated, and it requires some thinking to see that this idea works. But the actual uh, code is quite simple. Um, that's the problem.